Hello? Happy Christmas. Can I come in yet, Mark? Yes, you can come in yet. There, um, there wasn't anything at the end of my bed when I woke up. It's in here. Ah, oh, brilliant. And you saw? Y yes, yes, you woke me at 5.30 when you came in. I've been trying to get to sleep since six by reading about Wilson's trade union reforms, but Ma is so damn readable. Mm. Shit, sorry, dude. Ooh, slim but promising, Mark. Slim but promising. Jez, what, what are you... We're going to open them in bed, aren't we? What if our feet touch? If our feet touch, we fuck, obviously. Come on, dive in. Let the festivities begin. Wow. Oh, Jez, this is lovely. Cognac. Wow, that, that's my favourite. I know. Ooh, smells interesting. Looks like fire lighters, but what is it? Fire lighters. In case we get a barbecue outside on the bit. Oh, right. Roy Adkins on Trafalgar. I heard you talking about it. That's just tremendously thoughtful, Jeremy. What are these? Kitchen tongs. We need them. You bought yourself some kitchen tongs? Oh. And, yes, I remember you getting this Scott Rail sleeping mask when you went on Scott Rail overnight to Aberdeen. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. You know, in, in, in my family, we do sort of jokey stockings. Right. In mine, we sort of try quite hard. He's trying to strangle my Christmas with sellotape. I might save the rest. It's not fair. That's just aggressive generosity designed to make me feel bad. Sorry, it's just this is my first Christmas without Mum, because... Because she's sailing around the med with Mr Potato Head. Yes, I know, Jez. Oh, wow. So, you got it in in the end. It's quite a specimen. Mm-hmm, quite a specimen. I thought about trimming the top off, but it felt like I was castrating Christmas. You know, chopping Santa's bollocks off. Sure. You're not going to cry, are you? I'm fine. It's just, even though I'm looking at the tree, I'm just not... I'm not getting it yet. Horny. Christmassy, Mark. I'm not getting the Christmassy feeling. Let's crank up Classic FM. Let's get our Christmas on. <clears throat> now, Sarah... If I scrape together the shortbread from Aberdeen 09 and this unread Super Freakonomics, which I can pretend I thought she'd like, even though I'm pretty sure she'll hate it, then that's an acceptable bundle, isn't it? Nice to have your family here for Christmas. Well, not really. But the point is, I'm in charge. I've launched the Christmas putsch. I carve the turkey, I decide what veg we have. No cauliflower. No one else has it. It's not a tradition. Christmas is coming home. Ding dong merrily on Mark. Exactly. <laughs> Right, we need to get the oven on for lunch at one. Yeah, right. Lunch is at three. You do presents first and then... No, Jez. Presents after. Then charades, then the lull, the low countries, then the row, the cold cuts, then bang, into a blockbuster to see you home. But that's not my Christmas because... Oh, that's what we're doing. Don't let him spoil it. Don't let him rile me.